Radian. Uh, Mark Radian in June. Uh, they forecast the blue skies and it is absolutely gorgeous up here. Um, by the way, just a little side note, I recommend to anybody retire from work. Because that means you can come up here during the week when there's nobody about. They're all in their offices or at home working away with their computers. Um, and you've got the place to yourself. Um, so I'll strongly suggest just retire. Just give it up. Get out the rat race. Retire. So I've had enough. I've, I've saved up enough millions to be getting on with. And just do it. Uh... The wind wasn't forecast for today, it's just in at about 10. And putting these wings on, <laughs> not good, not good at all. Um, I was going to do some close proximity and some um, skimming. But with this wind, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see how it goes. I haven't flown this one for quite a while, so it's... Uh, Bit of a shake down. Oh, there we go. That's silly of me. Never even had the uh, throttle cut off. And it's she's away. Cross that one out, man. I got back out of hell. Now the inside these wings there's a tube <clears throat> but that flexes so much and I've seen a couple of tubes break so what I've actually got is a piece of dowel rod wood inside the tube which stiffens it up but even so you can see how much that wing flexes when it's going up without the tube you know what i think it might have uh, got a good chance of it breaking i'll put a couple of uh, easy lights on the cockpit look, the, the hands off that is look zero throttle absolutely nothing at all and it's just over in there a little bit of rudder bring it over great little plane these on, on a wind like today 10 mile an hour um this thing could start for an hour. Easy. Let's see, uh, see how them wings are flexing. This can start there for an hour. Easy. On a 220. Um, just by uh, surfing on the wind. Get a little bit of uh, power to get some headroom. Bring a bit of down. Because it's quite windy. Let's get it in there. Glad I didn't bring. Uh... <coughs> well, the Hurricane is um, under repairs, so I'm putting uh, um, hinged uh, hinges on the um, elevator and flaps because the hinges on them foam. Hobby Ken uh, plane, absolutely crap. That um, the elevator one already broke. The um, right aileron is about to go, so it's just well, I've done a, a complete check. Anyway, sent off for some oh some pucker hinges so they can go in. Um, the only other plane that I've got would have handled the wind up here today would have been the Aero Scout, but I've taken that plane out so many times. Um, really a challenge to it. Let's see if I can bring it down. Let's see if it's nice and uh, stiff breeze. Let's see if I can do a bit of skimming. Make sure there's nobody behind me. No, you've got to be so careful up here. <coughs> Trying to bleed some of that height off. I'm somewhat using this throttle. Look. 
absolutely zip, dead streak, hands off. It's just, <laughs> it's just sitting there. That's what the wind's like today. They certainly didn't forecast this. I mean, say the, uh, um, Aero Scout would have taken this wind today, but well, that's about all. Right, I'm gonna go a little bit further and then come back in. I wanted to do some skimming. Here we go. Dead stick. Unfortunately, it's got a real, real bad profile, this uh, glider, and you can lose orientation on it. It just don't want to come down. Not today. Look, absolutely no input on that throttle whatsoever. Absolutely nothing, but zip. Give it a bit of up elevator. Let's bring it around again. I'm determined to do uh, a low pass on this. Determined. Not really the, the best conditions to bring it out. They said we was only going to get the uh, a five mile an hour wind today. <laughs> Don't want to come down. Well, when I said about <laughs> An hour's flight on this. I wasn't joking. <laughs> I think it's a bit hour and twenty. It just does not want to come down. Just does not want to come down. There's not good look into the sun. Don't them one. Get a bit of height on. I'm determined to get it down. So them old wings really do flex. I so I'm so glad that I put a wooden dowel inside that hollow spar because it definitely would have snapped by now. Absolutely. There's so much torque on them winds. You can see the way they bow. Right, here we go. Here we go. Not, not as low as I want. So we go, we go round again. This is the thing about coming up here on a weekday. There's nobody up here. You try doing this on a weekend, you've no chance. No chance at all. It's like a madhouse up here. It really, really is. Alright, let's get me to my path. Uh, come on, come on, it's, that wind is so choppy. It's what I would call dirty air. Dead stick. Still not as low 
I said, I want it, I can go lower than that. Yeah, we of course we got the the dog walkers, the runners I don't mind. They've been and gone. So I'll have to uh, play up this end of the field to they walk by. Really, really choppy. So, uh, with the way the wind is today, it's more challenging. If I'd have brought the uh, aero scout, it'd have been easy. See if I can hover it. They were very nice, but mm. I had to sort of watch out the window because I thought I needed to know that she's still breathing at all points, you yeah. know. And they got her sitting down and they can kick them in again and stuff like that. And then they <sighs> Curious conversations people have. We had the police outside our house while somebody was kicking somebody else and then they had white foam all around their face and they was asking what drugs they'd taken. What a curious conversation to have. Alright. <laughs> Are we going to be successful this time? That bloody wind. Just so every time I start to come in Still not as long as I want to get it. Alright, let's start me run from over there. Bloody wind is coming from another direction now. Coming from my left. That's absolutely no throttle at all. Total dead stick. Bloody flies on me, Ed. Oh. Oh, slack wind. <laughs> still, still not as slow as I want the bugger. That is terrible. a little bit lower and give it a turn of speed, shall we? The 
old police are busy up here today. Well, flying ain't that bad, is it? It's not criminal, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> We've been observing your flying. Um, what do you think is that bad? It's criminal. You're nicked. Um, well, I hope you ain't going to go that way. All right, let's bring it in land because you know what? I think it's coffee time. See what I can get it. If I can't do a wind. There's absolutely no throttle at all. Absolutely nothing. This is going to be a bit of a bugger to get down. Come on, come on. Come on, hop, 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 hop. That'll do. <laughs> that is the thing about not having wheels on it. You can't take off again. You, I've yet to see anybody do a touch and go with a glider. Hey, Dave, on the DIY channel. Touch and go with a glider. <laughs> There's got to be somebody out there crazy enough to do it. Oh, ah, there's the, uh, now I know what it's all about. There's the air ambulance, red helicopter. So, either a cyclist has been mauled or gored by a deer, which I don't think so because it's not the right time of year, or the cyclist has given way and the car's hit him. You can see, uh, not wishing to offend all the cyclists that comes up here, but they normally are a law unto themselves. You um, bylaws up here now, which says cyclists don't go at 20 mile an hour, the same as everybody else, because they do tend to use this as a, uh, a Tour de France uh, section, and it's coming down, and I should imagine by the look of it, over by the Roehampton Gate, because uh, where it's going to land. If you point it out where my finger directly is that's where Roehampton gate is there's no roads going off to the left there's only a road going to the right and so he's gonna pop down on there so quite a big field just below him there if there's anything up that side there's other fields you could have landed in um, so that's where it is it's uh, by the gate um, that'll be on the uh, Roehampton News. Oh, and we've got two people brushing over with their dogs. They want to see what's happened. And the lady in the hat's in the first place. And she's beaten the other girl by about a furlong. And they've both slowed down to a trot. Well, perhaps they've run out of puff. And uh, while they're waiting to see what's happening, the um, helicopter's landed in that field. Well, oh, that is a bit of excitement. Um, and there you go. Uh, it's a uh, the the one they use up here is called the or the air ambulance helicopter. I think they call it the Eurocopter. Um, designed to get into extremely small spaces. And uh, I think I can hear more police on their way or ambulances. Um, oh yeah, I can hear the uh, uh, helicopter is winding down his uh, engines, or engine, and that's it, well there you go, and the, um, that was a Zippy 220 uh, 30C, and it is as cool as a cucumber. Talking about cucumbers, don't know if you've ever made one or not. Cucumber dip, really, really easy. Get a cucumber, whack it in the blender, some natural Greek yogurt, whack some of that in there as well, and just give it a whiz. You've got a lovely cucumber dip. See? Is there no end to my talents? I think what I should do, I, I should start this off every time I um, 
do a fry now, I shall do a, um, a cooking tip. Starting off with cucumber dip. But now, it's a case of uh, pour this out. Then I'm going to turn off. Oh, look at that. Nice hot cup of coffee. Nice and sweet. Just to think the cool down on a hot day. I always used to have cold drinks till I was working with a, a, a guy and he said no 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 he said you don't want hot drinks uh, cold drinks he said you want hot drinks he said they make the body equal to the uh, temperature so there you go I'm just trying to turn this off without taking it off I don't know if I've done it or not I'll have a look no I haven't so 